probably the most amazing feature of Earth is its existence of life. And the most amazing feature of life on Earth is the phenomenal number of species, the biodiversity of Earth. Up until recently, we didn't think much about biodiversity, but because of human actions that are uh, destroying natural habitats, simplifying system, and, and causing species to go toward extinction, uh, the question arose, does biodiversity matter? And that is what I've dedicated the last 20 years of my research to. Through experiments and theory, we have found that the single most important variable determining how an ecosystem functions is the number of species in that ecosystem, its biological diversity. We were really surprised with these findings. Uh, it's, uh, frankly, in 1990, when we started doing this work, it was totally unexpected that the biodiversity would matter so much. Now, why does biodiversity matter? The biodiversity exists because species differ from each other, because they have trade-offs. They're better at doing one thing, but worse at doing something else. These very trade-offs explain why biological diversity has such a large effect on the functioning of ecosystems. When there are more species in a system, there are more jobs that are being done by species that are efficient at doing those particular jobs. So these trade-offs among species, which make each of them specialize, also means that the more species there are in an ecosystem, the more productive, the more stable that ecosystem is. When concerns were first raised about uh, the loss of biological diversity, there were many questions asked about whether or not diversity really mattered. Did it matter for the functioning of ecosystems? Did it matter for humanity if diversity was lost in a given ecosystem or if species went extinct around the world? The only way to answer that question is to understand the mechanisms that determine how species interact and the effects of their interactions and how those change on how many species there are on biological diversity. So what we have learned in the last uh, two decades is that species have trade-offs. They're good at one thing and bad at something else. Because of these trade-offs, when an ecosystem has more species, that, uh, that ecosystem have, have species in it which can do different jobs well. So a more diverse system has more species doing more things well, which makes that system as a whole more stable, more productive, more efficient. Uh, so because we know these mechanisms, we're better able to understand why diversity is so important and also better able to use biological diversity as a tool to manage systems. I've been very interested in helping ecology become more mechanistic because when you understand the mechanisms, you can use them to make predictions. Just like we can predict how to send a rocket to the moon uh, because we understood the law of gravity, when we understand the mechanisms that determine how ecosystems function, we're able then to predict how they will respond to the various disturbances that humans are imposing. So we have done this in, in terms of the effect of diversity, in terms of what kinds of species can coexist. But this is very new to the science, and there are many unanswered, challenging questions that still face us. Probably one of the more interesting applications of our work has to do with both pastures, where we grow a lot of the, uh, graze a lot of the animals that end up being the livestock for human food, and also for biofuels. What we've seen is that in these grassland systems, uh, that greater diversity leads to greater productivity, which lets you get more biomass to feed more livestock, also more fuel, more biomass to make fuels from, but also it leads to a greater rate of storage of carbon that is taken from the air by the plants and stored as organic matter, humus, in the soil. And this means that uh, if managed properly, uh, grazing lands and uh, uh, diverse grasslands grown for biofuels, can provide dual benefits of the energy or the food at the same time that they help remove and store uh, an important greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide. Yeah, I've been very interested in agriculture because agriculture is the single largest user of land on earth of the eight or so billion hectares of land that are suitable for humans, we now use about half of that, or a little bit more than half of that, for agriculture. We use about four billion for uh, pasture land and about one billion more for crops. And as 
population increases and as demand for uh, food per person also increases, we're going to need to grow a lot more food. And if we do that, following what we've done in the past, we would be destroying much of the remaining ecosystems of the world. Therefore, if we want to have a sustainable environment on the world, we have to first and foremost find a way to use lands to their greatest productivity, but also sustainably to grow food. Food is the biggest single thing we do to the environment.